Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dong and Roll, but two goodbye to spare. I don't know if this is going to be the last episode, but if it is, thank you all so much for the support on the first two games of this series. I'm not sure if I'm going to play any other games of the series. This might be the last one, but I'm going to try to make this the best episode that I can. If you guys cool that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up. Guess here we go. Huh? This place. This place looks familiar. Yeah. Looks like everyone's here. Damn right. It seems that this is going to be the final place. However, However, this place is... This place sucks. Is this a trial field? But why is it a trial field? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um. We've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruins leads to. Hey. Huh? It seems pretty strange that we've been in that other building up until now. Damn it. It's like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very... Welcome. So you finally arrived! Congratulations! You guys are the first ones to ever beat this game! <laughs> After stopping by Hope Speak Academy, you finally come back to this place. Yeah. To the graduation exam site within the ancient ruin of Jabberwock Island! You. you can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before! Super from cool. before! This trial field actually inspired the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey. Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course, of course if that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now, Ahem. Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Ooh, fancy. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. In other words... Which means everyone who has died up until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then... Then the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm. Ahem. If graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <sighs> ah, even if we do this stupid majority vote, the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, 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 no. no, no. you can't do that yet. <sighs> I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your will to be swept away by society's harsh current. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Who the hell cares? I'm going to press it. What's this? My, my. Which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know. What? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? That's right. After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Well... Um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No but way. you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. He's doing it because it's how it has to be. It doesn't mean he can exert his will over everything. He, too, has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway. Anyway, even if you don't want to do it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you cast your majority votes. And from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we even have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is... You said you were waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? Huh? Which means you're just stalling for time then. <laughs> Who's the main cast? Hmm. Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. Not easy. There's no way it has nothing to do with us. We are the only ones who are involved, you know. So it doesn't annoying. matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You Hold me on. Off. What's with the chump comment? I can't, I can't ignore that. Uh, not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. I won't How dare you treat you. him like a toy? What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god! Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. Fine then, before you die, sear my power into your memories. 
I think the main cast he's talking about is the people from Dog and Rumble 1. If it is, then we are gonna see Kyoko, aka my favorite character, after Nagito, though. Nagito is my Nagi bro, you know what I'm saying? I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Your mama. Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? Seriously. The world is the world. This world's true identity? If I answer this, it will be true. Why does he always look like he's holding in the nastiest part? And that lie will become a truth like he's just like... Aah. But there's no way I can leave it unanswered. Okay, so I guess we're gonna answer it. Are we logic diving? Oh, we're hangman's gambiting. Okay, we can do this. It's one word. Okay, how many vowels? Wait, V? What do you mean V? V victory? Oh, maybe I'm right. Virtue. Verlander. Okay, I don't know. Is it virtue? It is. Okay. So, let's try this. Oh, virtues. Vir virch. Vir virtual. Virtual! Virtual! I'm a virtual girl in the virtual world. Okay, I need an L because I take none. Give it L. Give it L. Give it L! Ah! Yo, just give me one fat L, dog! God damn you! I'm gonna die! Bro, I'm gonna die a slow and painful death. Virtual! The true identity of the world is virtual. I called that shit! Damn, it's like the Truman Show. You guys ever seen that? If you haven't, it's a classic. I highly encourage world, that you watch it. This Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am a Dong and Rumba god. I called this so long ago. Hey. So. This isn't the real world. Bro, but look at my you face. Want, you can call it the game Look at it well. World. This is the face of a god. You get it? It's all just one big game. Do it! Are you friggin' serious? So wait, does that mean nobody's actually dead? Does that mean Nagi Wagi's still alive? Everybody? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I I'm trying know, to figure I out know. how this is all happening. The all in your mind like, where are the real people at? Feel such cruel despair. Yeah, it is. It's kind of a cop-out. You know, the all in your head, it's been done to death in movies and books and everywhere. Who it's cares? a twist, though. What a twist! <laughs> with just one line because it's a game then we were forced to kill each other but does that mean nobody's actually dead because it's a game a lot of crazy shit happened because it's a game what the hell up monokuma we're the only people here because it's a game because it's a oh, game yeah, okay. monokuma's nonsensical abilities because it's, it's a game okay what else Don't fuck with me that's not even possible. Because it's a game? I know. Oh, come on! But you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. Because it's a game? So just uh, force yourself to accept it. I mean, I accept it. You don't got to force me. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, Interesting. Just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to believe that. Back in the day... People must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used Facts. to it. I'm wearing contact lenses right now. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make huh? Nothing, just people playing in a game. You're not actually in the real world, right? You better not say we're fictional characters. I mean, does somebody want to tell him? The does somebody want to tell him me? No. Created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. Wait. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual Bro, this world really is like the Matrix. Directly with the user's brain. So you're telling me that all the students right now are in these green shits? Like I can see their silhouettes right now. Which means your body still exists in the real world. Okay, so that means Nagito and all of them are still alive. All right. right now, you're completely submerged in the game world as if you're dreaming or something. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I'm happy Simply about that. I like that, that nobody's actually um, dead, right? You know, not aviators, but... You know what, let me just shut up and see what's going on. You mean Avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. All right. But we're not just regular avatars, right? 
Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. What did you remove? The specific thing that was removed from our bodies. He's definitely talking about that, right? One take, Jay. Our memories prior to entering the school. One take, Jay. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm just getting too excited because I'm happy that we're playing the game. But let's see. Our school memories. That's what it was. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm too excited. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? See? You guys see the smile on my face? Soy feliz. <laughs> Avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? D don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. Is believing him really the only thing we can do? Why does he always have that constipated face? I mean, come on, whoever drew Hajime, you knew what you were doing there. Reserve Department, Tragedy of Host Peak. Okay, Neo World Program. Let's just lock in Tragedy of Host Peak. Let's is just there any evidence that. that this is really a game world? You are the evidence. Oh, let me get these. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered the school. Okay, it's not tragedy but of host peak then. Your bodies in the real world Let's are see. different. Though you have no memories of your time <sighs> living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. Yeah. What game? Um, wait, 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 wait. What avatar? Hold on. Yikes. I'm a human being with a real body. Okay, let me rethink this. I gotta look up the bullets. So let me see. I don't want to believe something like that, but okay. Remnants of despair. See, this is what happens when you don't play the game for almost a week. You're kind of like lost with all the bullet points. Remnants of despair. Even after Junko Enoshima's death, an influential group known as the Remnants of Despair still exists. Unless they are stopped, the tragedy will never end. Maybe killing school life is the thing. Unless it's list of subjects? Maybe. List of subjects. Everyone's names are written under this list of subjects. The list is written on a clip newspaper article. The article was about a woman who looked like a fully grown version of Hyoko Sayonji. Okay, that might be it. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. Here, is it this? Yes! Thank you! Okay, we got it. With consent. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. Yeah, because Hyoko was different than she was in the virtual world. She's way taller here and more mature. Over in the virtual world, she's like short and stinky. She more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Like an adult? What does that mean? <laughs> short and stinky. Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. Yup. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Thanks. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't among recognize. Among us? Kinda sus. You were saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hiyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated, <laughs> Fuyuhiko. I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? Right. So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because you took away our memory. Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. Why does he sound so calm? No, hold on. If we didn't know each other before, and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Who's he? Who's he? Wait, he? Hold on. He? Monokuma? Oh, he shit on my tits! Okay, wouldn't he have noticed the difference? If we didn't know each other before, and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Then wouldn't he have noticed a difference? The hell is he talking about, dude? Fuihiko? You're the <gasps> only one! How? 
Hey, Fuyuhiko, you knew Peko for a long time, oh, right? Oh, duh. He knew a student before all this happened because they were childhood buddies. Yeah, now that you mention duh. it, seems weird. No, now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Oh, so that means Peko's alive too. Strange? Woo! What is? Our school memories. About how many days worth were taken away? As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. God damn. That long? Peko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories, end of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. I want to believe him because it makes sense, but at the same time, I don't know if he's just bullshitting everybody. I don't know if he's the ultimate capper. He could be. Virtual avatars. Monokuma seemed like he'd be the ultimate captain. You just have to accept that? El Capitan. I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. Ooh. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? I mean, even if you live in a virtual world, you can still see, smell, hear, taste, all that. You just don't know if it's real or fake, just right? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? Never heard of that. So if our brains believe something is real, the brain is a powerful thing, though. Than if it actually happened. Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. Ooh. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. Oh. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. Dang. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. That's interesting. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? That's what our brains would believe, yeah? We're really just connected to machines and stuff. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. Yeah, the creator of Danganronpa was definitely binge-watching the Matrix trilogy. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Like, they had it on in the background while they were writing the scripts of this shit. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Like, they plugged the thing in the back of the heads in the Matrix, and the creator of Danganronpa was like, Write that down! Write that shit down! Of course, that's also a virtual world. Titty Typhoon, hey, let's get titties on a Tuesday. I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know what's wrong with me. That sea, that beach, I see Titty Typhoon, buildings, I get all crazy. Everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why, in the end, it was all just a creation. That's the truth. Yep. What the hell, man? When I made the comment about like this game being the Matrix or whatever, I was kind of just joking, but the truth is, the truth is it was all a lie. That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? <gasps> Then that must mean... Yup. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm happy about. That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Oh yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. Yeah. So, so... You are saying everyone is still alive? Hey, let's get it. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> What's so funny? Uh-oh. If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Oh, fuck me, silly. Don't tell me. 
you mean... The Neo World program isn't just any game. It's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death... And they don't know that they're in a virtual world, their brain is gonna think that they actually died. Their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too! Wow. What? Alright! Then... Everyone who died... So everyone who died actually thinks that they died in real life. It's not like their bodies are completely <sighs> dead. So I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. What does that mean? Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? Well, just like any game, if you die, you can come back to life if you want to play again. Or if you just let go and turn off the console that you're playing on, you can just go back to live in the real world. But apparently in this game, when you die, it's permadeath. What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then... Monomi and Shiaki were... We betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then... We were taken out. I see. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation! The Future Foundation is our real enemy? Is that it? Is that really it? I don't think it is. Oh, this music goes though. Okay, I don't think that the Future Foundation is trying to be against us. But whatever. Let's see what we got. Um, Tragedy, Killing School Live, Remnants of Despair, Lose of Subjects, Academy Thunder. Um, let's log in this one, because it feels right. The Neo World program was developed by... The Future Foundation, right? Um, the ones who trapped us in here. Um, it's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? Life is beat, though. And the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys! Then the future Come on, Jay, what am I gonna do? Truly an organization of evil! Mm. Who's our enemy? Is it the Future Foundation? Let me the see. The Neo World Program was Neo World Program. Okay, let's see. Remnants of Despair? Even after Jungle and Ashima's death, an influential group known as the Remnants of Despair does still exist. Unless they are stopped, the tragedy will never end. Okay, Remnants of Despair. It's gotta be them. Remnants of the Future Despair. Foundation, right? Please tell me this is it. It feels like that would be the right bullet, right? You guys are nodding your heads. Doing right. right, cool. What about Nagito? The yeah, Jay. The That's definitely it. Long time I mean, no see. That would make a killing game. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, Jay. How could you do it, bud? I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Right here. There you go! No, that's wrong! I swear I shot that bullet at that statement before, and it said it was wrong! Originally, in the world created by the what? Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. Then, why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be? My mind's blowing right now. Is... I feel like I shot it at that. But you know what? Maybe I didn't. You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah. It didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. True. Monami. What sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject. But that's also something we need to clear up. Monami, or Usami's role that she had in this world was Observer, Monica Spare, Teacher Chaperone, Magical Girl. Observer. I see. She was gonna watch us, see what we do. She was the observer of the Neo World program. Isn't that right? That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role of Observer. NPC? What's that? Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program, just to monitor the 15 of you. <gasps> Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? You've forgotten how to count. 
were 16 people in total. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Chiaki? Another observer? The Future Foundation's other observer. That has to be referring to that person. Chiaki Nanami. I see. Yeah, buddy. Okay, one day Jay's back Aside in the building. The he opened the door. He had one foot in. There were two in, observers back, in the New World program. One of them was Monami. And the other one was... No more messing Could up. Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Aren't you all NPCs? So you're saying she was just a program? Wait. And she didn't actually exist in real life? Wait, Chiaki's not a real thing? Then... She wasn't human? She was just alter ego in Chiaki form? Bruh! She didn't exist at all? Not human? No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Yeah, she has to be, or else my mind's gonna blow. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. <laughs> Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character. So she wasn't real? Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. Bro, Chucky wasn't real at all. Now that you mention it, damn. You referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. Bro, twist on my nipples that all just these means twists. It was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No. There's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also world ender. At least for those of us here. For everyone who's here. Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? What, you can't talk? It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Watch him evolve like a Pokemon, turn into a Gyarados or something. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived! Uh-oh. Huh? The main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender! Nagi? World Ender? Who said that? Who said that? Was that Makoto? Was that Makoto? Makoto, where's Nagi? It is Makoto! It's not the future foundation. This freaking fault. bitch boy! Rather, the fault lies with you guys. Alright! I was waiting for you, Makoto! You finally arrived! Let's go! Makoto? Yeah, aka the person who you're trying to be like. Wait, why can't I press anything? Oh, because we have to look at Makoto? Okay, yeah, we looked at Makoto. You know, he's shiny, he's glimmering with hope. My ultimate name lucky is guy. Like you. I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. I don't know why. I didn't really like Makoto that much, but I'm just happy to see him. And right now, it's weird. I'm a member of the Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? Because he can. I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Hey, what happened? Yeah, why am I smiling so hard? Like, I didn't even like him that much in the first game, but I'm over here cheesing. What is this? Is he acting a bit... Strange? This guy's attitude. It's as if he's being cautious of us? Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation we're in? Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? <laughs> Hurry up and get us out of here. Luigi, man. The Neo World program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. Hope Restoration Program? By now, you should understand your true identity. Huh? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Where's Toko, Biakuya, Kyoko, and um, that other girl, the sporty girl? I forgot her name. Dang, I feel bad for forgetting her name, but didn't Monokuma say the main cast was here? Why only this guy? Put them all together and try thinking about it. Put it together and think? What are we doing? Hangman's Gambit again? Logic dive! Uh-oh. All right, we surfing now, bros. And I'm here too. Nagi Wagi is back while you logic dive. Ow! I'm still getting whipped in hell, by the way. But Saiyan, he's giving me my free phone call. Oh, Saiyan, you're whipping me, Saiyan. Oh, God! Hajime, you keep running into walls. Would you run into a wall for hope, Jay? 
Or are you doing it because you're the ultimate despair? Let me stop you right there. Speaking of ultimate hope, I'm the ultimate hope. Because I love you, and I also love Makoto. And I also love all my bros. Who were the 15 survivors of... Oh, God, was it Makoto and the others? It was Makoto and the other suck it! Yeah, suck it. You did a great job guessing there. You had a 1 in 3 chance, a.k.a. 33.33333. I am a math wizard, you know. I'm not just the ultimate lucky student. I'm the ultimate. You better dodge that shit, Jay. You better do it. Oh, God. Okay, let me focus. Nagito, get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. I wish you were here, though. On God, I wish you were with Makoto. But I guess you're in the real world, still plugged in. Question two. Who are the remnants of despair? Ooh, God, it's not Makoto and the others. I'm so glad that I fell. It's Monokuma, right? It's gotta be. Monokuma is the remnants of despair. It better not be Makoto and the others. We played as them in the first game. Don't you freaking dare. It is them? What? How? Okay. The remnants of despair is Makoto and the others? Yeah, Jay. You didn't know? Did you read that diary that I stole from Monami? What the fuck? Okay, it's Hajime and the others? Wow, I gotta stop, man. Hajime, I mean, not Hajime. I gotta stop doing the Nagito voice, man. We gotta let him go. Like, right here, we gotta let him go. Nagito, I'm telling you right now, man. If I'm gonna beat this game, we gotta let you go. That's the last time you all are gonna hear me do the Nagito voice because I can't concentrate. That's Cap, Jay. You're the ultimate capper. I finally figured you out. I also thought you were from the reserve department, but I didn't know that you would be the ultimate capper. Why were Hajime and the others put into the Neo World program? Damn it. To recover them from despair? Huh. So they had despair in them, and then they were forced into the Neo World program to recover from despair? On God, baby girl? On God, baby girl! Wow! Okay, so that was really it. That doesn't make any sense, but I guess... More twists on these tits! The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of ultimate despair are... Yes! Both of those phrases refer to you guys. Okay, Makoto, don't got a point. Rude. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of ultimate despair. Interesting. You're all ultimate despair? Hell don't yeah. be stupid. In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. What a freaking kowinky dink, huh? That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that the dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in Holy human crap. form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. Holy shit, so all 15 of them were part of this? They live solely to torment everything. On God, to though? To burn everything. To kill. On God, baby girl. Wow. We're what the hell? part of a dangerous group like that? Th that's gotta be a lie. Try. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Yeah, like, they all seem like nice people. Especially Hajime. I can't imagine him just, like, shooting somebody in the head or beating them with a baseball bat. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? Because Nagito is dope, Hajime, you know. He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room. Oh, wow. Was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Info about the time we spent at Host Peak Academy. Huh. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered the school. But Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. But why, though? Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway... It's the he just totally ignored his question. It's like, anyway. About you guys after you entered the school, and after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, 
What did he try to do to you guys? Nagito learned the truth. What did he try to do to us? Are you telling us to answer that? No shit. Hangman's Gambit, huh? Alright, let's do it. Rub my hands together because you know we're about to get this money. So it's three words. Okay. Let's try S. Not S. Let's try L. Try L. Not L. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Not that, huh? What is happening? K. Okay. K. Kill? Kill us all? It's gotta be kill us all. Oh. Boom! Kill us all. Thank you! He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the file, you learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. That's actually a crazy revelation. Did Nagato tried to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes. I never would have guessed because that. Because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. Same. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. So Nagito was really trying to be the good guy. I don't need a twist like I knew that. It. I just got that vibe from him. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Oaks Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima, she strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became ultimate despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. So what better way to restore hope than to kill the rest of our classmates in a killing school trip, family, right? Family, friends, that makes sense. bodies. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! Oh. Nagito! Nagi Wagi! <laughs> What was that just now? A memory? But... That person. That was Nagito, right? Vision of Nagito has been added to the- BLAH 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 It appears you've remembered a little. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm pretty sure we just got that bullet, but we're not gonna lock it in now. But maybe we are. Vision of Nagito, are you there? You are there. Alright, so let's just lock that in. Let's see what happens. There's obviously some kind of mistake. Nah. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Eh. Oh, I barely have any life left, because so I really gotta one-take K this. Despair. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot you any bullet at anything so far. Family. Okay, we're gonna take it slow. And you even destroyed your own bodies. Yeah. How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. We're being tricked by the Future Foundation! Doubt hope? How much despair is within you guys? I don't think Makoto is capping. So, I don't think we shoot anything at Akane's statement. We're ultimate despair? That's not possible. I need to organize the information. If I organize it, I'll probably be able to. Okay, so maybe he is capping. I really feel like Vision of Nagito is the bully. friends and family. So let me look at this one more time before I make my destroyed your own bodies. Oh! How did you say we did all that? Okay, he has Junko's hand. He destroyed his own body and put her own hand on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The light bulb just went on. The palm trees just started shaking. Okay, let's do it. I know what it is. If it's not that, then I have no idea what it's gonna be. Watch me. Watch me work. Watch me work, baby. Watch me work, baby. Let's go! Yeah! You know what I do? Oh, that good. I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was hell yeah. Oh, he cut off his own arm. Oh, sorry, how'd you make? Transplanted a bad, woman's dog. arm. Not just I'm any just happy. woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. 
What? what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. I, I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I, I am terribly sorry. There's some chapstick I on. I do not feel so well. It's just a game anyway. So why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Not even the worst? What do we do? What the Some heck? wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting. In Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Holy crap. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps Bro, she wasn't even that special. Despair. And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. No! Just what the hell? That, that's just a bullshit story. Oh. That's obviously bullshit. So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. You just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. Good guy, Makoto. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Yeah, he wasn't one of my favorite characters from Danganronpa 1, but I respect him. Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? So, you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the Hope Fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why all you need to do is choose graduate. Let's do it. If we do that, we can get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Who cares? Just make new memories. Just get out of here. Huh? If you choose to graduate and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading your avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars died? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. What? So you're saying they'll never wake up? That doesn't even make sense, though. Why Damn didn't you it. just upload some new information to them? Damn fucking shit! Um, please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. That's so whack. Like, it's cool that it's they're in a virtual thought. world because you're like, oh, what cool, nothing's real. But then you're like, the people that graduate. died have died in real life, so that sucks. You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Hey. Why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... What are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Hell no. Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? Bro, if I was in this thing, you couldn't ask me to slap the graduate button hard enough. I'd be slapping that thing with my You're nuts. You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... <laughs> but what? Something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he just gonna stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? 
then everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that, is it really okay for us to believe him? Should we get out or... Um, well, what if we do that, that, that? What if we do a little that, that, that? We only got 54 seconds and I got this much health. I don't think we're supposed to leave yet. I'm a that, that, that. I see. I was right. I was right with the that, that, that. Wait. Can we have some time to decide? Did you get scared like Sonya? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Not really. Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. Just as I thought. There's something wrong with you. So this isn't the real Makoto? It's not. Okay, so we're getting to the spinny shits. So let me see what bullets that I have. Reserve the Parman, Tragedy of Host Peak, The Tragedy, Killing School Live, Remnants of the Spare, List of Subjects. Um, email to Makoto Naegi. Tell him Naegi. Okay, let me see what that is. Email to Makoto Naegi. Let's check that out, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. To Future Foundation 14 Division, Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope in this world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Is that it? That might be it. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's not even the real Makoto. It's an imposter. It's an imposter, man. Let's figure it out. I mean, the future foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust him, right? The future foundation is the world's hope. Okay. No one can defy the future foundation. No one can defy the future foolish, foundation. Think about it. Okay, maybe that's what I shoot my bullet at, but I don't know if the email to Makoto Naegi is what it is. There's something wrong with him. I said okay. I'm going to save you guys. See. Hmm. Why aren't you listening to me? Hope cultivation plan? Let me see what that is. Hope cultivation plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy attempted to create true hope by consolidating the results of all their research. Maybe it is the email to Makoto Naegi. And then I shoot it at Makoto's I mean, bullet. Let me try that. Let me see if that works. If it doesn't work, then you know what? We're just gonna do it over again because that's the beauty of games. Yeah! Get me stop! What take Jay's in the building? Woo! Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Everybody, this game needs to stop playing with me. How do you explain your actions? Woo! My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. I'm so happy right now. To Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Naegi. I just read this when I was reading the truth bullet, so we're gonna skip this, okay? In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Yeah, this person is an imposter. Is that email for real? Future Foundation tried to kill us? Hold on! We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found were all real, right? Yes! And that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you. I want to protect you. To me, those words seem much more real. If so, the person in front of us is... Tell me, Mikoto Naegi, who are you? Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie! <laughs> nah, that's Nagito's ultimate ability. I'm not asking you! You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Damn it! He's trying to interfere! Then, to prove whether that Makoto Naegi is real or not, I'm going to shove that in his face. What are we shoving in anybody's face? Panic talk action? 
I bet. Okay, how do we do it again? Um, W S A D. W S A D. Damn, it's hard when you're trying to do it right side up when Leon is spelled another way when you flip it. So it was kind of confusing to me. That's who you really are. Then tell me this: Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? One one zero three seven. Um, what was that? Oh, got him. You can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you... Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Get this fake Makoto out of here! Oh, man. I've been found out. Found out? Then you're... <laughs> oh, wow. How disappointing. And I thought I was on the right track. Damn. So where's the real Makoto at? He disappeared? Hey! I disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Can we see any other characters? Then, that was just the work of Monokuma? Aw, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just wanna kill myself! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya. Just kill him right now. Then this nightmare can finally end. Violence is not allowed. This isn't that kind of game. It's a much smarter game, right? What game? This game is already over! This game is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Oh, I told you, he's gonna evolve. Tra Jardo style. Transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know. Like that one role-playing game? The only reason I'm comparing him to Gyarados is because he's looking like a Magikarp right now. Just like fluffy, unintimidating. You then he's know just gonna what become game like a I'm talking about, Final... Don't say it! Now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form! Ooh. You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out! <laughs> <laughs> what? I have a bad feeling about this. Like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling. A really, really bad feeling. I'm not worried about this. Now then, make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories. Wasn't a fat ass nut. I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, so Junko came back in virtual form. I thought he was actually just gonna die. Well, that is freaking dope. That is actually so sick. Oh crap, that is awesome. Uh, am I hallucinating? I, I know anything goes here, but this? This is clearly not fucking okay! <laughs> I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She, she's huge! She's way too huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game, Knifearella. She said it anyway. What the hell? I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My 
boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. Uh, I get fucking crushed! If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But too bad, this isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not yeah, an action game Yeah, come on, let's just get either. to it! Ain't nobody talking about nobody's titties? You won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! There's those personalities that we all know and love. This is Monokuma's true identity? We, we have to deal with this thing? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um... Is it just me, or did her personality change? I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of- Oh crap, my bad. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. <laughs> Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. This sucks, Dad. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person's true identity? Yukuya, Makoto, Jugo, and Oshima. What the hell kind of question was that? Bro, if Are I got you... that wrong, I should have just Junko quit this game. Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I... I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Huh? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's right. why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. I think that's so dope how she has like a giant Junko right and behind everybody. That's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly it reminds me of in front something. of you guys. I think it reminds me of something from Catherine. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Inoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Host Week Academy. The destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing! Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko and Oshima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? <laughs> I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! <laughs> Hell no! Man, they hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Huh? Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. <gasps> nice! Wait, so they're gonna come back for right now? This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? Wait, hopefully we can get every character back for this it last was, trial. Like, real hard, you know? <laughs> What is this Bucky doing? The graduation program is the core part of this right, game. Right. So it was <laughs> with a lot of encrypted codes. <laughs> oh, it took me a fuck. long time. I felt so much despair about so how useless I am. So stupid, dude, but I love it. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. I love the dumb shit. I just do. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in a microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? 
Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? Yeah. By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer! How long it took for Junko Inoshima to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. If so, the certain place we were watching that was Jabberwock Park, the Monomi House. Oh, Jabberwock Park. I see. The counter or the timer? The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. What? Then why ask us a trick what question? How should I put this? I was just goofing around. Huh? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show. In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so overpredictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's... she's seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? Yeah. I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, <laughs> I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? We he go asking the important questions, my like guy. I said, it's easy. Oh man. It's just a game after oh, all. Look at me, uh, damn it. Just a game? Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? So Fuyuhiko is willing to live in this world if everybody can come back and they're just going to live in this tropical island forever. Is he doesn't even care if it's not real. tampered with a computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? I mean, if the real world in the Danganronpa universe sucks balls anyway, and it's for like the end of the world, basically, I'd want to live on a tropical island too with everybody back to life. That's right. that and that's what I would choose. And go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Well, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. You are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. 
devices. Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Please? Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. Well, obviously, we're not gonna click graduate just yet. You don't have to Because we don't say, have all the who answers. Who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then, it's safe to say that this is the good ending, right? Press graduate, press repeat. Don't press anything yet. Hey, what are you doing? It's decided by a majority vote, so just don't think about it and press graduate. Don't you want to go back home? I don't care if you want to stay here, but don't drag us into it. I can go back. Oh, okay. So, is that what I'm supposed to press? Graduate? I got it. What the? Mikado? Get it over here! Jugo's trap! Huh? What the heck? That guy from He just randomly popped up out of nowhere? It's not again. This time, it's the real one. How convenient, Makoto. You really popped up the moment I was about to F up and press graduate, huh? Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. Damn right you are. This guy is the real Makoto Naegi? Is there... Then, this is the guy I spoke to? This the guy? I'm sorry. This really the guy? I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons <laughs> unknown. Right? How convenient, huh, Makoto? And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> Did you also claim my arrival? No. It doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Yeah, you are. Ah, I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. You always had such a reckless hope. I love you so much that you distrust <laughs> me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. Wehiko, don't. Don't the be that guy. That you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Aww. Hey, little old me. <laughs> Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. Wow, creative name change there, Junko. Uh, despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego the AI she stole my friend's skill to create and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. Mm. What? Then everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. They're going to be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. That doesn't actually make any sense to me. If she had that program lined up all along, why even waste time with this killing school trip? Why not just upload herself into all 15 of the students instead of uploading herself into six of the students? Unless I'm missing something. It's actually impossible to revive them. Like, why even have this killing school trip if she wanted to just put the spare restoration program or whatever inside of them? Couldn't she just do that 
because they're already part of the remnants of despair. Oh wait, that was Cap, right? Yeah, that was the fake Makoto that said that. Okay, never mind. Let me shut up. I was lying, you know. I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, that doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fujihiko. So, I know some things that'll make you happy. Uh-oh. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said... Do it. Don't Don't you do mess it. mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here. Junkify All Mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, Imagine that. There's gonna be a whole lot a of butt fuck all load of Junkos just walking around. God Goodness. damn. My despair With all that utopia, personality. Where you can despair as you please, Junko Land will be complete. That's Operation Junkofy All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh yeah! Our dreams are expanding. That messed up plan is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that exactly. have been more convenient for you? How'd you may ask in the right questions? The same one that I have. Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No, but you could have done that in the first place. No, there's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. Oh, why is that? The reason she wasn't able to do that was it because there was something she didn't do? If so, then the reason is she didn't have a real body. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not because she didn't have a real body. Wait, what is it then? She was sealed away, the school trips rules, there wasn't enough time. She was sealed away? What the heck? Okay, my bad everybody, my bad. You know what, I know what it is. I was just messing around. It was the school trips rules, which doesn't make sense again. It's because of the school trip's rules. She's a bad guy. Bad people don't follow rules. So they break them. A monster them. like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role is your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. Rule four. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. Okay. So... The rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How... how can you be so cruel? Because Junko and Oshima is... The true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. Do people ship them too? Makoto and Junko? I mean, I just despair wanna know. is not I wanna a goal know. or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko and Ashima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? Yep. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? I love her voice. Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Well, oh, that no, she does so that. Beautiful. It made my brain she sounds like a rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Could it be? Is she talking about them right now? 
Future Foundation, Reserve Corps students, the Killing School Life, right? What? Damn no, it. oh wait, the Reserve Corps students. Let me stop being a butthole, dude. I see. Yeah, they all killed each other. Are you talking about the Reserve Corps' mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Corps. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mass suicide? What are you talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the Reserve Corps all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys camera, everybody. have meaningful relationships like that anymore. Go. I'm back. I they mean, the palm tree you're one all time. ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. Have we? I, I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, <laughs> that means the world is yearning for so despair. So freaking dumb, I swear to God. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If you choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? Well, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel thing for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide. And their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well. They shouldn't be listening to this, right? Acknowledge that. I guess She's obviously can't bullshitting. Be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. This is nothing to LOL about. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake? Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we'd go home alive all along? What about the killings and the class trials? Was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? That... This is just too... Don't give up yet! There's now, Naegi. You guys can get out of here! Without letting Junko out. No, you're wrong. That's what he should have said. Huh? No, no, there's no Or wait, that's wrong. Convenient. Whatever he said. Whatever those Makoto-isms are. Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First she's heard of it. Then, it's a way that even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't know about. It might be that. It might be that. Hold up, hold up. Shutdown sequence? Yeah? It's gotta be this. Give me some! You know what I do? Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. Then that means even Junko can't stop it. Hear me. I have an unfortunate announcement to make. <laughs> you cannot activate the shutdown. Why? Huh? You... You know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated is... No authority, not enough people, because it's broken, there is no shutdown sequence. Not enough people? I see. Okay. Because there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and wow. repeat at the okay. same time. Am I correct? So how are we going to loophole our way out of this? However... Maybe we can bring back the people that died. I'm calling it right here. Only six people here. 
Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. Dude, that would be so sad. Like, the people who died get brought back just to help the six that are alive escape. The shutdown I hope that's what happens. Activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. Please. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Damn, so if there was no chance, he'd be like, fuck that! <laughs> he'd be like, they're gonna die. What is this I'm not going in there. Of winning of what you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them? Wait. Are you talking about the- <gasps> LET'S GO! LET'S FREAKING GO! Oh, LET'S FREAKING GO! Try putting yourself in our shoes. MY GUYS! And my girls. Can't forget about my girls too. Toko? Where's Toko? LET'S FREAKING GO! Kyoko? Byakuya? We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warning. HELL YEAH! I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously. Dude, she is so hyped! Let's freaking go! Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! Bro, you need to bow down, yeah, Kazuichi, when you're in the presence of ages. legends, right? It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remember. So wait, where's Toko and where's that other person? I keep forgetting what her name is. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience... Oh, and the other dude with, like, the big afro guy. I forgot his name, too. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Wait, 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 wait. I kind of wasn't listening. What were we talking about, big girls? Hold on. Miyakuya, you're alive. <laughs> but you're so I forgot now. they knew the Kikuya. You shut up, too. Um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No. It's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy. You survived and helped you recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that. You guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko. Hell right? yeah! Yeah, that's right. Dude, I'm so freaking happy that we get to see Biakui and Kyoko again. Here now? Actually, I'm more excited seeing them than I am Makoto, but I am excited to see Makoto too, don't get me wrong. The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world. Jeez, this is Oh, sorry. I actually skipped ahead. Making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. Yeah, like, I'm super hyped to see Kyoko because she was hands down my favorite character from the first Danganronpa game. Biakui was number two. Then I guess Makoto? No, Toko was probably number three. Then Makoto. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> they really did show up looking all cool, too. It again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up. World. It's so good to hear his voice again. And this messed up world. Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not That's just my that. Kuya. We want a more detailed That's my guy. If you shut down the Neo World program. Everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. Okay. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you enter the program. Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything. Or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program. If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we enter the program, 
The killings will start over. Revert to ultimate despairs. I see. Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. <gasps> no. Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision. But I know you guys will be able to overcome it. Dude, I was just thinking, imagine a Clash trial when you have a group of like Makoto, Hajime, Nagito, Biakuya, and Kyoko. You're never gonna get away with the killings if you have that group trying to figure it out. Never! That shit will be so sick. I Bro, someone needs to make to that. Alongside us. Like Kyoko, Nagito, Biakuya, Hajime, Makoto. Like those are the ultimate detectives. We still have to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. No, oh, thank you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. <laughs> For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. Can we just put Junko out of her misery already? But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless? Vanish? Does that... Include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that the she and existence confined to this world is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Can you stop making that freaking fart face? Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition... That's like a bad joke. You're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We don't know anything about that past. Hey, why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope talent or admiration are truly the weakest huh guys who desperately want to reach the top they don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off they're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others shoving off guys like that is so easy <laughs> i happen to know 17,082 ways to do that the point is the moment you cling to talent and hope despair has already set in that's not even an explanation then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown. Thank you, Biakuya. Before you do that, That's why I like you. you gotta do some reviewing. <laughs> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Alright! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. 
that explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Um, because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake! Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Makoto, Biakui, and Kyoko? Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Is it Makoto, Biakui, and Kyoko? Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. The same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people Juko lured, the method. I should try connecting those dots. There should be an answer there. Okay, so we're still going with the shits? Logic dive! Another one? Yeah, Jay. One more logic dive. Question one. Who did Junko Inoshima want to lure? The Future Foundation. Damn it. Or was it Ultimate Despair? Nope, it was Future Foundation. I hate it because I have to look up to read. And then I have to, like, choose it once I'm done reading all the options. I feel like it's not a good way to choose. It's Future Foundation. She wants to lure them, and I am going to take that to the freaking grave. Good job, Jay. I know you said you wouldn't do the Nagito voice, but I know you can't help it. It's in your soul. It's in your bones. Oh, yeah, those bones. Those dense bones. Have you been drinking milk, Jay? Yeah, the milk on this island is pretty damn good, right? Yeah, I used to walk to the store every now and then. Ow! That hurt. I know it wasn't me that actually got hurt, but I can still feel it. What bait was used to lure the Future Foundation? The killings. Please, God. I'm pretty sure that's not even it. Oh, it was! Let's go! Yeah, Jay. The killings. Remember? The one that I tried to do against Ikikuya? But then all of a sudden, Teru Teru's the one who did it? That chef bastard, man. He's lucky he could cook a good meal. Five-star meal, matter of fact. I would eat some sushi off his hairy chest. I'm not even gonna cap. And I really do believe that you need to stop talking to my voice. Just let me go, Jay. Just let me go in peace. I'm never coming back. You heard Junko, right? She said that the people who died in the game can't come back. So with that, I'm just gonna say let me go. And this is the last thing I'm ever gonna say. Yeah, no more Nagito voice. What did Junko use to force them to watch the killings? Oh, God. Did I choose this right? I was just trying to read. But I got it right! Let's go! Give me some! Okay. I was just randomly guessing. Actually, I wasn't randomly guessing. I was just trying to read the options, and I got it right. Thank you. And that's the last time I'm doing the Nagito voice. Bye, Nagito! Oh, got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? Surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous Killing School Life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. Titty Typhoon. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Titty. Home of the titties, home I of the typhoons. the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. Actually, it's home to none of that. Just Cap. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. Like what? You sure did. What? Vicoya, oh, what? Queen, no. Please forget what you saw. Wait, wait, wait. What was Sonya doing? So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? They probably liked it. We tried probably to like that sick shit. Times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, well, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation.
We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show them <laughs> off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But That's you guys sad. already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. <laughs> That's precisely the truth! Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. <laughs> this time around, I might that be able freaking to kill these phase, guys man. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. Yes. Pretty fucking desperate. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two options. Graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. What? The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is press either button, collect all the hope fragments. Oh, the teacher's final decision? I see. Yeah. We have to get the approval, right? As I recall, we also need the teacher's Shit. final decision. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Not on my watch. <laughs> That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? Love that shit-eating grin, Miyakuya. I missed it. But that's impossible. I craved it! Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. It looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. What's wrong with that? I love this beat. Thinking we back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Oh, God. Why not? We got this. Come on. Let's on do it right faces. now. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's yes. true that they walked the wrong path before. But that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past. But their futures. Yeah, the future. Do it for the future. I, I was totally waiting for a protagonist to blind like that when I crushed you with this bear. No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair. Clap it up for my guy no, one time. Wrong. Clap no. it up for my guy Makoto I don't one time. Who's gonna make you fall into despair? That's the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. There's so many people appearing. Did I say appearing? So many people appearing, man. Mastermind. Someone else is coming? That can't be. 
it's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. And I always fell into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru... Aw, oh, that dude's dead. Kamakura? That name. I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right. I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was a Tark Diva of the show. <laughs> Imagine, though. The founder of the Academy. See, so stupid these choices sometimes. Izuru Kamakura? <laughs> yeah? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> he was a dark diva, bro. It was written on the cover. <laughs> this the Japanese Albert Einstein looking at us. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, so right? Stupid. However, <laughs> based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura. If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. His little he bitch. He was even called the ultimate hope, right? Yeah, no way he's alive. Huh? Dude's old as shit. Have the same name as that ultimate hope guy? Like he should be dead. Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future foundation might know something. Right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there is very little information about a person called Izuru Kamukura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. It looks like that one gun meme. You're the one who set it up. Were you just holding the gun? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Shunko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Then show Isn't him. Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I am... What? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. What? Huh? Nah, she's bullshitting. Uh, if you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you Why would understand. he be Izuru Kamakura, whatever his name is? Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura. Oh, it is Kamakura. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're... Hold on! Seriously, nah. what are you talking about? Nah, that's bull. Smells Why? like bull, too. No Ugh! Way. Yeah, no that's bull. Is Izuru Not Kamakura. true. Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is... The ultimate reserve course sure. student! Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura. No, you're not. You're Hajime Hinata. What? Don't spin the shits. You're not Izuru Kamakura. Is you serious? Okay, what's it gonna be? Um, ha ha ha. Reserve department. I mean, that could be it, right? Let's see. Let's see what Good happens. News, Hajime. Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along. Ultimate hope. Ultimate consult from the reserve course. Have such an amazing talent like that. I don't know, man. Sounds in like order a big to bag of caps. Identical. Was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake. There, there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I'm pretty sure reserve department is the right bullet. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Sure. Then Izuru is your fake name? <laughs> hey, you weren't lying to us, right? Wait, Izuru's an old ass dude though. What the hell? Why are we even entertaining this? Could it be created hope? Hold on. I'm the ultimate hope? Then the current me and Izuru Kamakura are. What did Hosting Academy do to me? Oh no! Hold up. Let me see. Reserve department. Let's see here. Reserve department? Where is it? Oh, right there. Okay. 
A department populated by reserve corps students who took general entrance exam in contrast to the main department which recruited ultimate level students. Established to secure funds for Holes Peak Academy. 2,300, 500 students in the reserve department were infected by Junko's despair and committed suicide. There was only one survivor. What's Hope Even Cultivation Plan? Let me see. Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Holes Peak Academy attempted to create true hope by consolidating the results of all the research. So maybe that's it. And then maybe I shoot it at the created so hope statement. Because none of the other ones make any sense. So let me shoot it at Makoto's because that's my Mako bro. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm sorry, guys. I've been recording for over two hours. Let me get it. Still got it. Lame, but I still got it. Lame ass jokes, but I still got it. You know what I do? Created hope. Are you talking about the Hope Cultivation Plan? Yeah, Hope the Cultivation. HCP. You don't know what that is? What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Huh? You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. Ah, after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me, but all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. This is a lot of information to take By in. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, you may get out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. Different person? How is he different? All of the senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions, thoughts, hobbies. He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot so help in the real world, Hajime doesn't even look like that? Hajime doesn't even exist at all? He's Izuru Kamakura? But as for Hajime, so he's gonna be that old shit that we saw in the picture? Erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Damn. D disappear? 
Poor Hajime. is Izuru Kamakura. An entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. That sucks. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Disappear. I'm gonna disappear? Disappear. 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 No, you're not gonna disappear, Hajime. You're not gonna disappear. You're gonna live on in our hearts. Is that good enough for you? It's not. He said disappear. 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 What the hell? Who the hell is that? But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. Are you telling me this long-haired fuckface is Hajime in real life, dog? Oh my god. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason to meet again. After all... You're boring. You really don't play along, do you? That's who Nagito was talking to? This dude who can wipe his ass with his own hair? Got the long shits. I'm sorry, Hajime. I didn't mean that. No. I'd be saying the same thing. I'm like, no! You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind nah, all of this. Nah, no way. This is all hard to believe. Huh? Hell nah. Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I do? I... I already know. How can I be saved? Choose graduate, choose repeat, become the black in, submit to Junko, choose graduate? Oh, nope, that's not it. I see. I, see. I just need to choose graduate then, huh? To choose graduate okay, then. sorry. Huh? He was talking, not me. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. Hold on. You can't do that. If you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. Okay, so we won't the choose graduate then. To sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despair. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair. You say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> And can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Listen to Biakuya, man. You still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event there in human go. history is He said the line. He did the thing. Right now, it's finally started to calm down. 
If Junko Enoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, mm -mm. everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't nope. you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? Okay, we just gotta listen to Makoto, guys, Biakui, and Kyoko. You can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. Okay, I got this, Makoto. Trust me. True despair. Um, what shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us? To decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? Uh oh. Okay, we're spinning the room around. What are we gonna do? If everyone can overcome despair. Uh oh. Uh oh. You guys should be able to grasp true hope. Yeah. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember. Oh shoot. Okay, we don't even have any time. The reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? No. You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Pekka one more time. Then go to sleep and hopefully you dream about her. Despair. Come on, man. We ain't getting them back. We all us, want the dead homies back. We won't let them do that. This is all the future Foundation's fault. No, 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 no. They're, They're giving the ones who stuck us in this messed up world. Okay, Jugo's getting in their heads. If Jinko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Yeah. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! Okay, which one do I choose? Graduate or shut down? The world or me? Hope or despair? They're telling us to choose? To choose between that? Why? Why do we have to choose? Oh. oh. Okay. Never mind. I thought I would have to choose, but I guess not. I can't do it. Huh? I can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that? I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! Whoa, 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 Hajime. <laughs> calm it down, buddy. Calm it down! This, this is just too much. Why do I... Why do I have to be a part He's of this? He's pulling a Nagito face, too. I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Oh shit, was I supposed Once to? again, this went exactly as I expected. Oh crap! I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. Oh fool. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, 
Let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Wait, did I mess up? Forever and ever 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 and ever. Uh-oh. I think I just did a fucky wucky. Yep. I am sorry, everybody. It's my first time, I swear. God damn it! Oh, God. I probably got the bad ending, didn't I? No, everybody's back! My guys! Let's get it! Well, kinda. Oh, Even right. Thicker is back. A game reset. And with heal. this, the world will continue to loop. <laughs> yeah, my god. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay oh, like okay, this I can't for a do while. Anything. Young master, that is a wise call. I mean, it is Yay! cool seeing everybody you again. Have to us. I'm not even gonna lie. Yes, there's no way I would forget. But I think I chose the wrong one. And with this, Junko is gone. Mm. All right, let's party! <laughs> I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability. <laughs> I'm gonna showcase Jeffrey, my full cooking ability. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Bro, I forgot her name, man. To be awed by the sight of my prowess. She's like such a forgettable character. I've prepared you a training regiment. Ooh, if you get hurt, let me know. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? <laughs> <laughs> After all this time? Oh, bro. What was this again? Oh well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. All right. No way! Reset. Are you kidding me? With this, the world will continue. An eternal game you play. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. What is happening? Your master. No! Yes. So I just gotta keep repeating this bullshit? Wait, 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 wait. Was I supposed to shoot a bullet at one of the topics when Makoto and Junko were talking? not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? Oh, okay. What was this again? Oh, well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. I wanted this? Okay, I think I need to take this last thing. You guys aren't part right of here. the game, right? Yes. I love thinking Kui's imposter voice. Should I start with a brief introduction of mine? Alright! <laughs> 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 <Okay, laughs> He's freaking thinking Kui. And with Doug. this, the world will continue to win. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna miss Nagi Wagi, but we gotta do this. BAM! Get me out of this motherfucker! <laughs> Should I start with a brief introduction of mine? <laughs> who are you? I don't even know who I am anymore, Hajime. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy trying to be happy. What the? I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Oh yeah, Chiaki's not real. Chiaki? Is that you? Why are you here? Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Don't you think they're messed up telling us the world's going to be destroyed and to sacrifice ourselves? Imposter Thicker Kuya's voice. There's no way I can choose. <laughs> Should I start with the brief? Like <laughs> I'm just not able to choose. I'm gonna stop. That's the last time. Seriously. I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Same. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear, too. <laughs> Isn't that messed up? Very. Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, what, are you two gonna kiss? That doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Hell yeah. Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward... Yeah. 
I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. If you can't do that, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. That's true. Just like how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be all right. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Michiaki, can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future. And the responsibility, too. So you're saying... I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. B but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime, this isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. <laughs> Come on, I'll help out too. Help? Imagine him just zoning out. What the hell? I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. Whoops, sorry. This is me? Is this really me? I have no talent at all. This Hajime. Even betrayed by the this Hajime that so looked like much. he didn't get a haircut for a few years. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Uh huh. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. Wait, I'm supposed to do something here. There's no way we can beat Junko. Wait, it's I gotta shoot something at that. Fault. Okay, Not I mine. gotta shoot something at that shaky thing. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. Uh-huh. You should even be able to create the future. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yes! Okay, I got it. This is me? Is this really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool, dude. Yeah, it's not I cool no at all, bro. At all. Okay, can I shoot that? There we go. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. Do we just keep... I Okay, we just gotta keep shooting them. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Oh. Who cares and that little bit of. Uh, I don't wanna shoot that myself. shit, boy! It's not like Here we go, here we go, here we go. Give me some! There's no way. Long hair gang it. gang, bitch! It's the future foundation. Yeah. No, it's not their fault. Come on. Slice that not one in half. Mine. Shut up. Even so, I can't choose the future. Yes, you can! Stop even playing so. with me, See, fake Hajime! If you do it, things will turn out okay. I did it. You should even be able to create. Okay, the don't shoot at that one, because yes, we should be able to create the future. This is me. Is this really me? So uncool. What? Wait, what? I was even betrayed by the academy. Hold on. I thought I did it. Even so. Oh, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> you know what? Chiaki totally redeemed no herself in my eyes. She's cool. No matter what future it is, as long as you guys move toward it. I will never disappear. Kind of weird that she's moving her mouth, though. They never move their mouth when they talk, do they? Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle, 
If you just do it, things will turn out okay. Sure. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. Thanks, Chiaki. Appreciate you. <sighs> that reminds me. I, I forgot to say it again. You forgot to say thank you? It's okay. People forget sometimes. Awaken? You can't lose hope. What? Wake me up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hold on. Oh, dang, I gotta finger shebang bang this. Finger shebang bang this. Wake up! Wake up! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Come on, I am finger shebang bang in this. Thank you, I'm back. If we turn back into ultimate despair. Hey, guys, stop out of it. Be killed by the Come future on. foundation, right? That's what you don't talk like that. This is your responsibility since you're you too be Kuya. It's the future found. They're both hope and the conclusion will never be fucking reached. Wait, I can't you press can't anything. Lose hope. Oh there you go. Store power. The memories we made oh, I gotta memory. keep finger shabang bang in this. Okay. I will not even remember. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh you I gotta hold it. Oh my god, I gotta hold it. I don't actually click that shit, I hold it. And then my bullet is getting nice and long. This is, this is the most sus thing I've ever seen in this game. Future! Let's do it! You can't lose Gotta hope. do it for the future! There you go. Oh. 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 Give it some! Bah! Stop playing with me! No, that's wrong. Ooh, that's wrong! Damn, my dude is super sane. It's badass. Guess he with the white hair? In the mouth of Gabe? There will probably be a lot of despair, too. I don't know what kind of future awaits Dude, us. look at him. Look at him. He transformed. But our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Even this sure has spiky hair. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. Hell yeah. Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. Nope. I am Hajime Hinata. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh oh. Rebuttal showdown. All right, let's get it. Future. Future. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because let's finish this already. Slicing and dicing on these hoes. Give me some of that, boy. Got limited cuts too. Cuts on these butts. Advance. Even so, you already know I'm gonna advance. You don't have to look at that. Slice that. Slice that. Retreat. Why? Shit. Hit that. Hit that. Got it. Never let anyone choose okay, so I didn't even need to slice the purple shits. That is such a cool image right there. Oh, PTA. We're almost there. Come on. One more part of the shield to break. Thank you. You won't be what? able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. That's wrong. There you go. Wait, that's wrong. Duh! Iconic line in Dongaroba history. What is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All of a sudden! Everyone, let's shut this game down! Yes! Huh? Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll... There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there, we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just going to forget everything. That goes for everyone else. Um... We just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? <clears throat> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but I just, I just saw it. Dude, this music is overtaking everything that so they're saying right now. I'm just so into move. the music. When I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one 
you shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right, Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now. Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. I'm well aware it might be <laughs> an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I... I heard her voice, in fact. I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. <laughs> I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Alright. Man, this sure is getting annoying again, but... If you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. Dude, them teeth. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. Yeah, once we get back, we gotta take Kazuichi to a dentist, because that shit ain't normal. You... you all... Why? Why? How... how can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is this?! Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. What do you mean? I better have gotten an A on this. I pretty much one take Jade this. I only got a couple things wrong. So stop playing with me, game. A C! Bro, I'm gonna see you in the back alley. I'm gonna whoop that ass, dude. Whoever's oh, graded me in this stuff. game, I'll see you. See you in the parking lot. I didn't think Hell you no, this dude. Huh? It's not the end, right? A C? This okay, is I see you. Right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. Looking like Power Rangers. I dig it, though. Is she going to get executed again? Oh, Monami. What are you doing here, baby? Hey! <laughs> I mean, I guess, right? I know you're probably all going to be asking me, did Monami redeem herself by whooping Jungo's ass like this? The answer is no. She still didn't redeem herself. That is pretty cool, though. That part right there, that was pretty sick. I'm not even gonna lie. But no, Monami did not redeem herself. <laughs> Man, this is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? But I guess I no longer... I no longer have to hope for despair. Is just so hopeless. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. Yeah. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least 
This wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. Bye, have a great time. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, Aww. it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future! Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. <laughs> My name is... Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. I hope they don't forget each other. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. So this is the end, but it's just the beginning, isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared, so scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. Hey, thank me too. Come on, man. I was one take Jane this. Hey, you better thank me. Hey, don't zoom out all the way. You better thank me. See, he thanked Chiaki at the end, but he didn't me even too. thank me. Thank you. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Because we're all friends after all. Dang. Kind of hits different once it finally says game over. That was it, huh? Chapter 6 and that was the longest six chapters of anything that I've ever played. This is the end. Goodbye Academy of Despair. Good game. Good game. I don't want to compare it to the first one. I really don't. Because I actually like this one a lot more than the first one. What is this? You have obtained a present. Giant cell phone. Oh, we got Junko cell phone? Ayy. And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality is about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Host Peak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Hey, Makoto, is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Good, I hope that they do. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. <laughs> but in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. But there's still a chance though, Kyoko! No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. 
strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair, and they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Wait, who are they looking at? Who's there? Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do, besides the future foundation. They look a little the older right here. most awful, most tragic event in human history oh, She said the line finished. too. She said the thing. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so oh, horrifying. Toko. Then let's go. We must create our own futures too. Cool. I definitely like this ending more than the first one. Because I feel like and the first so one ended on a cliffhanger. Your deal has ended. Oh, okay. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical. And irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. Cool. I like that. Yeah. My future okay. lies here. Yeah, I was trying not to say anything because I didn't know if he was going to talk again. That was good. That was a good ending. Like I said, I like this ending more than I like the first Danganronpa because I felt like the first one ended on a cliffhanger. This one has a little bit more explained to it. That's the thing about these games is I feel like they over explain a lot of things, but it's good for people like me who forget things a lot. So I definitely like this ending more than I like the first one. I also feel like the characters are a little bit more memorable in this one too. Like I think I have a lot more that I like in this game. Like Nagito, probably hands down my favorite character out of the second one and the first one. Then it's Kyoko. So it's Nagito, then Kyoko. But I also have characters from this game that I like a lot more than the first one, like Fuyihiko. Um, who else? Uh, is that it? Is Nagito such an overpowering like for me that <laughs> I value this one more than the first one? I don't know. But yeah, Fuyihiko, um, Nagito, Hajime, I like him more than Makoto for some reason. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like, I just feel like he's a better main character for some reason. But Makoto got brought back in the end of this one, so I guess they really liked him a lot to bring him back. But I definitely like the story a lot more. There's a lot more memorable things too. Like, um, the one with the, the final dead room, that area, the fun house, that was actually one of the coolest chapters. Also, my favorite trial and execution happened here, the one with Fuyuhiko and Peko. I'll never forget that one. That one was the best trial, hands down. I was so sad that Nagito had to die, but I know why he did it. I think he was a good guy this whole time. Maybe he just seemed that way with the other students that he wasn't a good guy. But he really wanted the best for everybody, and that's why I really like this character. Because I guess I'm just drawn to characters like that. People who are good guys, but don't act like the goody two-shoes. Kind of like a Makoto. Like, he wants the best, and he always sees, like, the positive, and he's always optimistic. I like people like Nagito, who want the best for everybody, but doesn't have to act like they want the best for everybody. They're kind of more, like, complex. 
I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah, uh, I said this in the beginning of the episode. I'm not sure or I don't even think that I'm going to play the other Danganronpa games out there. I'm going to leave it at Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2. Let me know what you thought about this series in the comments down below. I can finally look at the comment section. So let me know what you all thought of this series as a whole. Hopefully you enjoyed it though. Thank you all so much for the support. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.